the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update, where we connect you to the parish community as you experience the presence of Christ. Hey, what's up? And welcome to this week's edition of the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update, week of April the 21st. I'm Brandon Barker, and I'm joined here with some of the rest of the team at St. Thomas Aquinas, Leilani Freitas, Evan Swindle, and Isabel Keith. What a team. What a team. <laughs> Man, we are super fortunate to be here at St. Thomas Aquinas and just the team and the staff and the parish family. And just sometimes when you're so blessed, it's really easy to take it for granted. Yeah, and so, sure. uh, yeah, we're we're super blessed and grateful to be here at this parish. Um, so fun fact of the week about actually the parish, about St. Thomas Aquinas Parish here in Dallas, there are tunnels and basements Ooh, and yes. stuff under the parish that no like way. people may <laughs> yeah. not know that i mean probably don't know it's actually pretty cool i mean yeah. for people that like that sort of stuff my favorite movie growing up and maybe now is the goonies and so mm-hmm. like the whole basement and the attic and discovering the map and one-eyed willy and <laughs> dude i mean like that's just the little kid in me comes out it does so i mean when they find the basement and then a cult ultimately the treasure <laughs> so yeah i remember starting here and working here and tr- playing it cool you know because that's what i did but <laughs> finding out about the basements and tunnels and how they all connect i thought that was when you showed that to me my mind was blown i was like how did we get here <laughs> i mean they built it that way you know yeah. back in the day where they built cool stuff you know it's cool <laughs> they did random fun fact about thomas Quinn. speaking of the parish. What's going on this week at St. Thomas Aquinas? So starting off on Monday, the grief recovery group is meeting at the St. Marin room and that is from 630 to 830. So join them. If you are in need of support and prayers, that is what they are here for. Mm -hmm. Um, So they meet on Mondays and then rolling into Tuesday, in case you didn't know, At St. Thomas Aquinas, we have daily mass Tuesday through Friday. So on Tuesday, it's at 6.15 p.m. So you can come after work. And then on Wednesday, they have it at noon. So come during your lunch break. And then on Thursdays and Fridays, it's at 8 a.m. So we would love for you to join us for mass, celebrate the sacraments. What about confession? Confession. That's a good question. Um, We have that on Tuesdays. And that is in the morning from 9 to 10. Okay. And then on Thursdays, it is in the evening. Um, from 5 remember. to 6, Yeah, right? 5 to 6, okay. 5 to 6. Yeah. And then on Saturday, we have that in the afternoon. And that is, I think, 3 to 4? It's or actually 230. 2.30. Yeah, 2.30 to 3.30. To 3.30. Yeah. yeah. Thank job. you, Isabel. Hey, yeah. we're a team girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so that is Daily Mass and Confession at STA. Yeah, and then on Thursday, we have our Young Adult Ministry Night. So we want to invite you, if you're between the ages of 21 to 35, this is just a great way to join in community fellowship with one another and to just really grow deeper in your faith with people your age, you know? It's really great. It is, yeah. The Young Adult Ministry has been very active here, I mean, for many years now. And just, yeah, I mean, like the... I mean, we send a newsletter out, I mean, every month out to, I don't know, I mean, over a thousand yeah. like young it's adults like that 1, are 1,700 now. Yeah. That, that wow. are, that are receiving, um, that email. And I mean, roughly half of them get opened each week. I mean, so basically roughly a thousand young adults are being connected with in some form or fashion yeah. and plugged into the different ministries in one way or the other. So it's, it's exciting. Most people don't know that. Yeah. But it's actually, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Pretty thriving. It's awesome to see. I enjoy it. Yeah, I do. That's you know, good. Evan, I may I be do biased, too. but <laughs> I yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. What mm. else? So every week we highlight a different ministry, and this week we're going to talk about the marriage ministry that Amy Northrup oversees. Um, they have something amazing coming up that most of us may or may not know about. It's called Next Step. It's for those that are thinking about being engaged, those couples that are serious. Um, they might become engaged. They might be thinking about marriage together. So... It's always a hit. Next step is like a big thing. It fills up pretty fast. Signups are happening right now for the summer version of Next Step. It's online, which I think is pretty cool because if you're sp- the person that you are dating lives in a different state, city, um, you could still do this together. Oh, that's awesome. So there's no it's yeah. very convenient that way that you could How be thoughtful. with another like minded awesome. people. Yeah, which which is actually one reason why we started doing it that way. I mean we launched Next Step and we are the flagship parish that I mean this is 
it was launched at, um, I mean, several, several years ago. And that was one of the, one of the things, what about for couples that, you know, are living in different towns. And so we started offering it, you know, at least one or more sessions a year, uh, online for that very reason, we offer it in person and we'll do so, uh, in September will be then person one. We do a fall spring and summer session, but the one that Evan was talking about that is the sign up is for right now, uh, online is for the online version that starts May the 14th. What else about the marriage ministry? I mean, it is it, like, it's, it's really, driving. yeah, yeah it, there's it, a lot. Great. So another thing that started this year was grounded. So it's the first four years of marriage, yep. um, which I qualify for, but uh, it's for those couples, again, first four years of marriage that are coming together um, in this ministry and they did um, some type of program in the fall, but this year in the spring, they are doing theology of the body yep. Bible study. And it's again, I think there's about eight to 10 couples there. Again, it's just a great community to do that. And then once a month, they do on the second Sunday of the month, they do a family, um, young family and young married couple potluck that we talked about a few weeks ago as well, too. So it's just a lot of different things that Amy is overseeing. It's just beginning for not just like pre marriage, but also like supporting you through your marriage, at least through the first four years. Yeah, which, I mean, like, to that point, I mean, that's something that, thanks be to God, we're we're doing and serving at a level that, I mean, um, is 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 great. Always room to grow, but, man, we're really, like you said, like, in the discerning marriage period. I mean, like, that's something we've been doing for years, and then actually when people, once they get engaged in the, you know, the immediate marriage prep that's kind of going on there, and then, again, with Grounded and other resources that are following up in these initial stages of, of marriage. And then, man, the the mentor couples and the other married couples that are being served and supported and that are connecting, that are actually serving as mentor couples to these other ones and how they're growing and being challenged in their marriage. So there's just a lot of things that are going on here at the parish uh, for marriage ministry. So yeah, I mean, we're very fortunate. Amy's doing a great job, as well as all of the volunteers, the mentor couples, and the clergy and stuff that are helping just support support the ministry. So know that we pray and are praying for your marriage. Ask that you guys be praying for just protection on our marriages, because that's something that Satan absolutely hates, right? Like the the marriage covenant and that relationship is is a, is a beautiful thing, and mm-hmm. Satan loves to divide and conquer. And so just praying for protection for those that are preparing and discerning for marriage, those that are going through it, but all those that are currently married, um, just know that we're praying for you guys and ask that you be praying for one another as well as those that are going through the process right now. So way yeah. to go marriage ministry. Good no, yeah. good no. I do have a question for y'all. Yo, what's up? Okay, so my favorite saint is Mother Teresa, but I want to know what y'all's favorite saint is. Brandon? Mm-hmm. Mine is the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's a good answer. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was as a as a non-Catholic that that was entering into full communion with the church back 15 years or so ago. That was Our Lady in that relationship. That was a big hindrance and a big challenge for me. And so, like, once Our Lady got a hold of me, I mean, I was all in. And so, um, um, I guess you could say a mama's boy on that front. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Mary. Yeah. My favorite is St. Mary Magdalene. Just oh. like the the way that she pours out her love to Jesus. And like, that's something I strive to do. And just like her heart is so beautiful. But that's my favorite. Evan, what is yours? Man, I have too many. But I will say my favorite is actually right here. Oh, who is that? This is Blessed Pierre Giorgio Fusati. So not a saint, but I have a quick fact. I was speaking to his niece last week. <laughs> And he is very okay, close. <laughs> that was a flex. Yeah. That was. Very Casual. close <laughs> to being canonized. So pray for 20, um, October 2025 that he will be canonized. So join wow. me in prayer that Blessed Pierre Giorgio um, will get canonized. Yeah, soon to wow. be yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for right? sharing that. I did not know okay. that. That should have been the fun fact. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty well, cool. Well, a bonus one back, so, Yeah. yeah. So, wow. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, that. yeah, it's awesome. awesome. Well, what is your favorite saint? That's what there are so many, but it's one of those be it your confirmation saint or just someone that you've connected with. The saints are in heaven. They're praying for us each and every day and are examples and people that we look to that, you know, have already ran the race and finished strong and are there to help us do the same. So be sure to ask your guardian angel, your patron saint to pray for you. And remember, St. Thomas Aquinas family, one day, one step at a time, the Lord, by His grace, is going to make saints out of us. So we are walking as a family here at St. Thomas Aquinas. We're walking with every person that we encounter 
to experience the presence of Christ. All right, no, we're praying for you guys. We ask for your prayers as well. And we'll see you next week. Godspeed. You've been listening to the St. Thomas Aquinas Weekly Update. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, reach out to us on Facebook and Instagram at STA Dallas and visit the website at www.stadallas.org.